Hi 24 and Unsure fam. Welcome back to my channel. I am Rachel and we have a special guest today and her name is Lexi. She is my sister. I know we look nothing alike, but we are biological. We hope. <laughs> <laughs> we do hope. I mean, they say we have the same mom and dad, but yeah. I'm going to show you guys a little tutorial on how to do a easy beach wave. So a little bit about Lexi's hair. She has very thin hair. Unlike me, I have more of a thick hair. I wouldn't say it's super thick, but it's definitely with that medium thickness. Her hair is super thin, so she doesn't keep a curl. I want you to know that this is why it's a nice, easy tutorial for people who can't keep curls, because in the morning you'll wake up with like a loose, very, very loose wave. And it's still nice because you can still go about your day and th people think it's your natural hair. I have thicker hair, like I said, and I keep a curl. So I did the hairstyle yesterday and obviously it's still in my hair and it's super curly. But right now we're going to do just a beach wave and it's going to be super, super relaxed. She's going to tell you some of the products that she uses to get through her week. Um, I used to use drugstore brand shampoo and it killed my hair. It dead ends, split ends. It just was a disaster. My hair is darker than it my natural color so I got it dyed and my hairdresser put me on some good products GK I use that color shampoo I wash my hair about twice a week and then uh, once a week I'll do a blue shampoo by Fanola and that just keeps the orange tones out of my hair and if I'm looking for like a dry shampoo I'll just go grab like not your mother's um, I like the mango scent <laughs> so if you have any questions comments please definitely put them down below I will put everything she just said if you have any questions for those. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna get started. Lexi's hair hasn't been washed in about three days. So, um, <laughs> I know, <laughs> I don't wash my hair either. Definitely, if you're watching this, don't wash your hair. It's not good. You want to never wash your hair. I wash mine twice a week, and how much do you wash yours? Twice. Twice, so we're on the two week. I do Sundays and Thursdays. What I do you do? do Mondays and Fridays. Mondays and Fridays, so obviously it just depends on it doesn't we don't like do it every everybody's different yeah. so guys I'm gonna start with a tutorial first you want to get split your hair half right down the middle this is an easy hairstyle that you guys could do by yourself so I'm just doing it on Lexi cuz it's I'm home for the weekend so it's nice having a little model for me but I do this on myself all the time and everybody's like how do you do your hair it's so pretty I'm like it's really not that hard to do so you get a scrunchie I usually do a scrunchie try to look try to make her look cute on cam but right there and I always start with, and whatever side, it doesn't matter. But we're gonna work from back to front, okay? So you get a section of hair, it really doesn't matter. She has thin hair, so. Okay, keep saying it. <laughs> we Sorry, all know. Guys, she has thin hair. <laughs> but I just put it right there so I know. I use Con Air, everybody's like, oh my gosh, you use Con Air? Yeah, best curler in the world. I know, I didn't spend $200, I spent $20 on this and it, eight years ago, probably, and it's done wonders. It's a one inch barrel and the grip on it is amazing. And even my own hairdresser said, "How? wow, this is amazing. It's just, it's only con air. So what you do, this part's gonna be a little, a little tedious because you've never curled your hair before, but you get the piece and you just clip it, pull down and twist. You always wanna twist away from your head. You're like, Rachel, what the heck does that mean? Away, I'm turning away. You wanna curl it this way, not this way, this way and you just keep curling it and I like to leave about an inch to two inches of hair left so see how there's like a little hair left don't curl that don't put that in the barrel I don't like coming too close to the head because then it's like really tight I don't like that we're going for loose natural waves so I just feel it she, again her hair is a little different than mine mine I keep it on a little longer but I don't want to burn her hair off so we just feel it until it feels warm. So then you're going to loosely let go and look. It's not going to look this tight, okay? There was a process after this. But right here, that's what it's basically gonna look like. I'm going to put it towards the back. I don't hairspray it yet. Now, this, we're gonna do the same thing. Get a section of hair, grab it, pull, turn away. Grab, pull, turn away. Pull, turn away. 
pull and turn away. And then I twist towards the top, I leave a little bit. So guys, I just did the one side of our hair. I'm not going to touch it. And again, make sure you always do the front piece. And I usually do this a little closer to her head, just a little bit, just so you get the tightness and it's always the front piece. So you always want to have a little more action. Um, right now, I'm just going to spray. I'm using her hairspray because I came home and I forgot mine, but it's Ozzy. Um, she uses Maximum Hold 3. I personally don't use a tight hold unless it's a light hairspray. No, that doesn't make sense. But I don't, especially for this hairstyle, I want it to look natural. I don't want it to be tight. So I'm just gonna spray that a little bit. Just a little bit, just a little bit. You don't wanna, there's a whole other step we're gonna do. So just a little bit. Now I'm going to do her other side right now. We're going to fast forward, I do the same thing, okay? One side is going to be easier for you just cause you're, if you're righty or lefty, the way you twist. Make sure, again, I'm going to say it a million times you want to twist away if you twist forward all the curls will come in and you're going to look weird <laughs> you want it to turn out away from your face like picture wind blowing at you and your your hair is going out you want that okay so let's just do a little example of out and then i'm going to fast forward the video again so we get a section of the hair so i'm going to grab it pull it down turn out grab pull down turn out See, it's a little trickier for me because it's a different side. So grab, turn out, pull, turn out, pull, turn, and then leave a little bit and turn up. I'm going to do the same thing for all these different pieces and we're gonna fast forward it. some hairspray spray a little bit a little bit you do not want your hair to be stiff we're again we're going for loose beach waves so this is what they look like obviously we're going to do more to it but they're not going to be this tight of a curl but they're you always this is what it's going to aim for for the end of the first step okay and i want you guys to notice i didn't put a heat protective spray in her hair there is a reason behind that, and she's going to tell you. I use Olaplex 6 and 7. That was recommended by my hairdresser. It's for shine, split ends, and it is a heat protectant. You kind of use them together after you shower, and your hair is damp, and then it helps with shine. Yeah, so that's why I didn't do it. Usually I do, but obviously she uses that product, so I don't need to. So we really changed, I would say, our products in the past year or two. Oh, easily, yeah. Because we've just, we kind of like... Someone opened the door to us of how much we're messing up our hair. And we're here to tell you that mm -hmm. it's possible. <laughs> it makes a huge difference. Mm -hmm. Coming from people. Who Coming from, yeah. Had dry hair and now, like, shiny and healthy. She, yeah, she has shiny, healthy hair. It's, it was never like this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, next step. So, what I'm going to do since I'm doing her hair, you, I'm going to put my fingers in her hair and brush through. Brush through, brush through. I even have a brush. So, we're just going to do this. I like flipping it because I feel like I get more volume. <laughs> so we're going to brush. Same. Look at I'm going right through. You're like, oh my gosh, am I going to uncurl my hair? Well, the curler iron is still plugged in. We could fix it. But you won't. You're going for that loose curl. I'm even going to get a brush and brush it. Let me see. As you could tell, super loose, very straight up top, have a little wave, and then there's the straight ends on the bottom. Looks beautiful. 
Where are you going? <laughs> and there you go. If you like this, this is natural. But yeah, that's it. I'm gonna brush it one more time. I'm a brusher. I'm like, oh my gosh, you brush it out? Yeah, that's the point. And there we go. And this is her hair. Very natural. And this is what it looks like. It looks beautiful. And yeah. So I'd like to thank Lexi for being my little test dummy today. Also, thank you so much for watching this video. It means much to me. Please like, subscribe to my channel, and tune in until next Sunday. Bye, guys.